Hello, you are welcome to solve this math problem, which is x plus y is equal to 6. x, y is equal to 6. To find the values of x and y's from these two systems of equations. So, we'll start by letting this as equation 1 and this as equation 2. Then, from equation 1, which is this x plus y is equal to 6, we'll make here this y the subject so we'll take x to the left side then our equation will be y is equal to 6 x we take to this side so it will be 6 minus x then in the next step from equation 2 whereas equation 2 it is this x y is equal to 6 then from here this y will substitute this which is y is equal to 6 minus x so it will be x from y, we substitute this, so it will be bracket 6 minus x, bracket is equal to 6. Then in the next step, it will be x times 6 is 6x. x times negative x is negative x square is equal to 6. Then from here, we'll start with this negative x square, then plus 6x. We'll take 6 to this side, so it will be minus 6 is equal to 0. Then from this equation, this negative x square will make this positive. So we'll divide the whole equation, divide by negative 1. So negative x square divided by negative 1 is positive x square. Then 6x divided by negative 1 is negative 6x. Negative 6 divided by negative 1 is positive 6 is equal to 0 divided by negative 1, it is 0. Then, from this quadratic equation, we'll solve by using quadratic formula. Now, from quadratic formula, which is x is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. So, it will be x is equal to negative b. b is coefficient of x, which is negative 6. So it will be here negative 6, then plus or minus square root of b square. It will be this negative 6 bracket square, then minus 4 times a. a it is 1, then times c. c is 6. Then over 2 times a. a is 1. Then in the next step, it will be x is equal to negative times negative 6 is positive 6 plus or minus square root of negative 6 is square it is 36 negative 4 times 1 times 6 is negative 24 then over 2 times 1 is 2 then it will be x is equal to 6 plus or minus square root of 36 minus 24 it is 12 then over this 2 then it will be x is equal to 6 plus or minus square root of 12 is same as square root of 4 times 3. Then over this 2. Then it will be x is equal to 6 plus or minus square root of 4. It is 2. Square, then times this square root of 3. Then we divide by 2 in this part and in this part. So it will be x is equal to here 6 divided by 2 it is 3 plus or minus this 2 and this 2 will cancel so to be plus or minus square root of 3 so from here we have two solutions because of plus or minus so from 3 plus or minus square root of 3 then the first value of x is equal to when it is positive it will be 3 plus square root of 3 so here 3 plus square root of 3 and the second value of x is equal to when it is negative it will be 3 minus square root of 3 then from here after we get the values of x we'll use this equation here to get y so from y is equal to 6 minus x and here y is equal to 6 minus x so it will be y here we have x1, so it will be y1 is equal to 6 minus x, x it is this. 
so it will be 3 plus square root of 3 bracket then it will be y1 is equal to 6 here will take negative inside so it will be minus 3 here it will be minus square root of 3 so it will be y1 is equal to 6 minus 3 it is 3 then minus square root of 3 so from here we get x1 is 3 plus square root of 3 and y1 is 3 minus square root of 3 so our conclusion x1 comma y1 bracket is equal to x1 it is this so x1 it is 3 plus square root of 3 comma y1 it is this 3 minus square root of 3 bracket then to get the second solution here this is x2 so here it will be y2 is equal to 6 minus x x it is this so it will be bracket 3 minus square root of 3 bracket then it will be y2 is equal to 6 we we'll take negative inside so it will be minus 3 here it will be plus square root of 3 then it will be y2 is equal to 6 minus 3 it is 3 then plus square root of 3 so here we have x2 is 3 minus square root of 3 y2 is 3 plus square root of 3 so x2 comma y2 is equal to x2 it is 3 minus this here 3 minus square root of 3 comma y2 it is this 3 plus square root of 3 so these are all the values of x comma y from this our problem whereas the value of x from the first solution it is the value of y from the second solution and the value of y from the first solution it is the value of x from the from the second solution now let's check these solutions if are correct from our problem which is here x x plus y is equal to 6 and x times y is equal to 6 now from here x plus y will we get 6 so from the first solution which is this x is 3 plus square root of 3 and y is 3 minus square root of 3 so x plus y it will be 3 plus square root of 3 then plus this here which is 3 minus square root of 3 so here it will be 3 plus 3 it is 6 this square root of 3 minus square root of 3 will cancel so 3 plus 3 it is 6 now it's like this here it is the same as and from here x times y will we get 6 so from x which is this 3 plus square root of 3 bracket times y which is this 3 minus square root of 3 so this here times this is in the form of a perfect square so it will be this which is 3 square then minus square root of 3 square so this square root to cancel with square then to be 3 square it is 9 minus this 3 is equal to 6 which is same as here now we can see the first solution is correct you can also check for the second solution which will, all, will also be correct Thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps to miss out. Subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video. Bye bye.